Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, Krendor, and welcome back to Krendor Talks in front of a shitty green screen app. Today, we got some big news. Uh, as I've already predicted, this is, I'm, I'm not covering everything from, uh, the leaked content, right? Um, so, uh, let me just, I'll start from the beginning. So, Blizzard essentially, uh, not essentially, they uploaded <laughs> accidentally a bunch of, uh, WoW information to their press kits, and Wowhead, uh, was like, hey, look, this is what they uploaded, uh, they leaked it. So... There's, like, Shadowlands stuff, there's other WoW stuff, but I actually feel bad for Blizzard on that front. Like, this is, like, a whole bunch of their big surprise stuff they're gonna release getting leaked the day before it was gonna happen, like, of all the times. Um, so I'm, I don't want to cover all that, but I do want to cover Burning Crusade because, I mean, let's face it, I, I called it a week ago, I called it months ago, I was like, this is 99.9% .9 sure happening, and that final 0.1% was confirmed today, so I'm like, there it is. <laughs> like, it's it's not that big of a surprise to me. And th there's really not that much to say about it. Um, but I do want to kind of go over a bunch of Burning Crusade stuff. Uh, so, here's what happened. Burning Crusade Classic has been confirmed in BlizzCon, uh, BlizzCon line leak from an official press kit accidentally uploaded by Blizzard. We do not have a release date in the press kit, but we do know it's coming in 2021. Again, called it. I, I, there's been no sources yet, but I still think it's going to be alpha, alpha, beta, uh, alpha, beta is going to be happening, like, within the next month. It wouldn't surprise me one bit. Uh, I think the release will probably happen in, like, s s summer, maybe end of summer. Uh, probably around the same time as, like, Classic WoW. I think that was, like, September, August, September, around there. I think it was August, actually, so it wouldn't surprise me if it's around the same time. Either way. Um, which, by the way, is actually really cool, because, like, we get a new Retail WoW expansion, and we wait a bit, and then we get a new Classic WoW expansion, and we're like, whoa, this is great, you just, like, go back and forth, right? So it, it actually is pretty cool. However, once we hit Cataclysm, I might be like, uh, I guess I'll play Cataclysm. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, we do not have a release date in the press kit 2021. Burning Crusade Classic will roll out in phases, and WoW Classic players can decide to progress their characters on Burning Crusade servers or new Classic Era servers. Hints of Classic Fresh, they put in parentheses. Stay tuned for Burning Crusade guides and database pages coming to WoWhead soon. Um, so yeah, and then there's just the thing, man, it's the actual thing being like Burning Crusade. Uh, and that's just, it talks about Burning Crusade, but nothing crazy. Um, so I think the biggest news out of all this is how they're gonna go about doing it. Uh, so like they said, Burning Crusade Classic will roll out in phases, and WoW Classic players can decide to progress their characters on Burning Crusade servers, or new Classic Era servers. So I would imagine, do you, you go to like, uh, a Classic server, and it's like, this is Classic only, or you go to the standard progress in the Burning Crusade server, right? That seems to make sense. And I would imagine they're also going to have, like, fresh Burning Crusade servers. Like, this is what I want. I wanted, like, just multiple options. So you have your current Classic WoW character, and you can continue on with them. Or, you can start on a fresh server level all the way up to 60, and then uh, go in Burning Crusade. Or, you just start at, like, you know, pick a character, you start, like, 58 or something, right? And you just have to, or 60 even, I guess. I think I feel like 58 wouldn't be that bad. Well, actually, it's classic. Well, I'd take a little bit. <laughs> Either way, uh, you know, I think uh, having multiple options would be good. Uh, I, I've seen some people talk about gold. That is probably a problem. <laughs> uh, when there's people who have, like, hundreds of thousands of gold or whatever, and they're just going to be like, here we go into Burning Crusade. Oh, look, I bought my flying, epic flying mount, and I bought, like, five of them. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if I want that. Uh, I would like some sort of fresh start without being able to have that much gold. I think that would definitely ruin the economy quite a bit, but, you know. Uh, to each their own, I guess. Some people might want it. Probably the people who have, the bunch of, have a bunch of gold probably want it. Uh, but I would feel like even then, you would want to, like, probably like start over, right? Like, you got all this gold, like, maybe you want to do it again. Maybe you're in it for the rush. Like, yeah, I want to build up that gold. I don't know. I'm not that person, so I don't know. Um, but I wanted to take the time to kind of go over all the stuff that changed going into Burning Crusade, because it's like, okay, we're going into Burning Crusade, this is going to be fun, nostalgic, 
you go to Outland, all this good stuff, but like, what actually changed? So, I brought up the World of Warcraft, Burning Crusade, Wikipedia, WoW Wiki page, um, and here's what we got. So we have new races, right? You got your Blood Elves, and you got your Draenei, and obviously now Blood Elves can be Paladins, and Draenei can be Shaman. Uh, pretty major thing. <laughs> Uh, there's new mounts, because, you know, Hawk Strider, Elec, Yeehaw. Uh, flying mounts, the big thing, so at level 70 you'll be able to fly. However, uh, it is level... Or not level, it's, a, I believe it's like 60%, right? It's like a ground mount in the air. So you actually fly very slow. <laughs> um, and then the epic flying is 100%, I believe, right? And then 300%, or what is it? It's 300% the, uh... Wait, did they even have it back then? Now I'm confused. <laughs> Normal flying mount training costs 225, and the mount costs 50. Training for flying mounts requires a skill of 150. Epic mount brings it up to 225. The epic version of flying costs 5,000 for training and 100 to buy. Training for epic flying mounts requires 225 riding skill upgrades to 300. Faction rep applies for the prices. Druids receive flight form. That's right. That's why I want to be a druid, too. <laughs> and that offers the ability to fly and has speed equivalent to a normal flying mount. Druids may obtain a quest level 70 to obtain epic flight form or wait until level 71 to train it without doing the quest chain. Well, I guess that's it's not possible. So no level 71. Uh, so, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, comment below. Tell me flight... I remember it was like it was 60, 100... And was it like 150 then? Or was it... It wasn't 300. That's a new thing, right? <laughs> it, my brain is so lost in the, the expansions and what happened. Um, character changes. New spells and talents. This is the one I'm looking forward to. I can't wait to actually go through this. Because this, this is why I want to play my Warlock. I want to have my... I still want to level a Druid and play a Druid, but I really want to play a Warlock into Burning Crusade. Because everyone's like, classic WoW Warlocks. Like, they're okay, but Burning Crusade Warlock. Oh, that's some good stuff. So I'm like, all right. And when I play Retail WoW, I feel like I'm in a whole new universe where I'm like, I'm going to play Warlock. And they're like, I'm like, oh, look, here's my thing. And they're like, you got you got your Affliction back? That's awesome. And I'm like, what? Affliction left? <laughs> when, did, when did it leave? Why did it come back now? I, in Classic WoW, it was part of my rotation. So my m the majority of my Warlock knowledge stems from Classic WoW. So I feel like this will, you know, stay true to that. <laughs> A little bit more than retail allows, so I'm kind of excited. And then, uh, I just love having new talents and stuff. I think it's great. Uh, is there, you know, talent trees are some of my favorite things, even though they're, you know, obviously there's like the min-max meta builds and all that, but... In the expansion, Blizzard added five to six new spells for 60 to 70 level range to each class in order to round out the classes better. The talent trees were also greatly expanded and revised. All classes have additional talents, leading up to a 41-point ability. Players gain new spells at every level from 60 to 70 instead of every two levels. Uh, since the Paladin and Shaman classes are no longer unique, Blizzard added new abilities to each class to make them what they truly feel they should be. Paladins receive long-awaited spells, uh, Righteous Defense, a long-range mass taunt ability like Death Knight's Dark Command, and Shamans receive the spell Bloodlust to complement their DPS and utility rolls. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch more. You can read up more if you want to. Uh, combat rating system. The release of Burning Crusade, critical strike, defense hit rate, spell crit, and dodge stats, as well as a new stat, Resilience. Ugh. Change from being absolute percentages to ratings, with each player level requiring more rating points to achieve the same absolute percentage. That's, uh, that's going beyond me. Uh, new zones. Yeah, Ever Song Woods, Ghost Lands, Azure Mist Style, Blood Mist Style. You got the new continent, Outland. There you go. Uh, which oh yeah, I guess he would be 58 because you could go into Hellfire at 58. Uh, 58 to 63, Zangar 60, 64, Terracar 62, 65. Terracar music's playing in the background if you hear. Uh, Nagrand 64, 67, Blades Edge 65, 68, Nether Storm 67, 70, and the same for Shadow Moon Valley. Uh, new high-level dungeons. Now, here's the big one everybody likes. The expansion has added several dungeons, most with separate wings to make runs faster, including some both in Outlane and Azeroth. The dungeon contains a plethora of new equip equi equipment, <laughs> including Tier 4, 5, and 6 armor. 
Uh, oh my god, that's right. Warlock, warlocks get to look like a, a hazmat suit or something. I forgot. Uh, Karazan. Caverns of Time. Oh, I forgot Caverns of Time. It's Burning Crusade. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I guess because it had Wrath stuff as well, so I kind of looped it into Wrath of the Lich King, you know? My arm vanishes. There it is. <laughs> Zulaman and the Isle of Queldenas. In Outland, you have Hellfire Citadel, Coilfang Reservoir, Auchendown. Auchendown! I always love saying Auchendown. Auchendown! Tempest Keep, Gruul's Lair, and the Black Temple. Uh, and all future raids will now have caps not exceeding 25 players. Which is going to be huge, because it's a lot easier to put together a raid of 25 than it is 40. Uh, which, actually, I like that a lot. I think 25 player raids is definitely, uh... I, like, I just like it more. Uh, that's, you know. Uh, profession changes. Jewel crafting and socketing items. Jewel crafting allows the crafting of rings, trinkets, necklaces, special jewels that can be used in specific things called socketed items. Uh, for, 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 for professions, the expansion adds a new level past artisan called Master 375. It's going to be maxed at 390 for engineers. Jewel Crafters, Tarn Herbalist, Blood Elf and Changers. Oh, Gnomish Engineers and Drain Eye Jewel Crafters. Characters are also able to take advantage of a new spec within each profession, as well as many new recipes, enchantments, patterns, and schematics. Schematics! I think professions are pretty good in Burning Crusade, right? I remember professions being, like, pretty solid in Burning Crusade, if I remember back, uh, well enough. New PvP features! Eye of the Storm! Whoa! <laughs> God, I AFK out of Eye of the Storm all the time when I get in random battlegrounds. I just don't like Eye of the Storm. So that's coming. <laughs> Team PvP Arena. Uh, this is one of those things where, like, some people hate Arena, some people like it. I'm in the middle. I don't really care. I'll probably play it a bit. V uh, voice acting? And there's voice acting in it. So those are, like, the main things. Uh, and it looks like the major patches. You had 2.1 introduced daily quests. And Netherwing, Ogrela, Skyguard, Black Temple, 25-man raid content. It can be argued that this patch unlocked the Hydral Wing of the Caverns of Time since prior to 2.1, Kael'thas Lady Vage would only drop a limited number of Toonment vials. Oh, Toonments! <laughs> patch 2.2 introduces voice communication software. 2.3 introduces Zulaman. Okay. And 2.4 is the Alakal Danas. Magister's Terrace, Sunwell Plateau, and combat log improvements. Hooray! And that's Burning Crusade, and that's what's going to be coming pretty soon. So, hopefully, <laughs> you enjoyed uh, you enjoyed this little video. Because, you know, I could have just been like, Folks, Burning Crusade's leaked, you probably saw it, here it is, bye. You know, I could have did that, but I was like, you know, this. let's give it some substance, right? So, I mean, it's going to be happening, so I might as well just make this video now and... You know, if you watch it, you at least get something out of it. <laughs> so, uh, let me know down in the comments section below. What was your favorite thing about Burning Crusade? And, uh... Okay, what did I ask earlier? Oh, yeah, the servers. What type of server would you want for Burning Crusade? And uh, the gold thing. You, uh, tell me about your gold opinions. Should we have fresh gold starts on a new server? Do you want to keep your gold going into the thing? I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, let me know. Down in the comments below, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Here's a bell. Ding, ding. And, uh, I'm pumped. Hell yeah, Burning Crusade, let's go. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. I should promote my Burning Crusade in a minute video. I forgot I made that. <laughs> That'll be in the links in the description. Yeehaw, I could put it in here too. Yeah, it'll, it'll be somewhere. You can find it, or you can just type it in yourself. 